from a wellness standpoint, a prevention standpoint, is that enough to no. have? No, but we have other sections of the bill. Uh, we redirect uh, the vast majority of federal monies today that are being supposedly spent on prevention but are basically being spent on bureaucrats and we put that into a media campaign to educate America about what they need to know. What they need to know about breast and cervical cancer, what they need to know about colon cancer, what they need to know about lung cancer, what they need to know about protecting your skin, what they need to know about diet, what they need to know about exercise. Uh, we, in, we changed the food stamp program. Uh, no longer can you use food stamps to buy something that's going to kill you. And no longer will the school lunch program be designed to raise your cholesterol and give you coronary artery disease like it is today. In other words, we're going to do, if we're going to spend money to help people with nutrition, then the nutrition ought to be great for you rather than terrible for you. I saw you speak to a group of young people, young people training to be doctors recently, and you asked them what you thought the future of Medicare, Medicaid was, and to a one, it was bleak. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. It is. What do we do? What we need is real competition all the way up, Medicaid, Medicare. How many doctors in Oklahoma take Medicaid? Fewer and fewer. Yeah, that's right. Why is that? Because they can't get the reimbursement. Because they can't get a reimbursement if they perceive that will pay their bills. All right. Uh, how many doctors are going? How many young college students are going into medicine? Fewer again. Fewer and fewer. Used to be 30 percent of Harvard's class went into medicine. Four percent this last year. And that's you're seeing that across the country. Why is that? Because by the time you have 12 years of upper level education and have somewhere between a quarter and a half million dollars worth of debt, there, the economic model doesn't work that you can ever repay the debt. So our best and brightest now, many, are choosing not to go into the field of medicine. We also know that in about 15 years, we're going to be short 200,000 doctors. Now how are we going to, we're going to use nurse practitioners and PAs to pick that up, but that's, they're great physician extenders, but what happens when the only thing you have is somebody less than a qualified physician to diagnose and treat you? Uh, so it, we better start thinking about the things that have made our country successful, and that's markets. If you can see that, if you can have transparency where you can see here's the best doctor and here's his price and here's the worst doctor and here's his price or her price, I don't think I like that quality even though that price is cheap. And here's this great quality, but the price is a little high. I think I get better value here. So we have Americans shopping rather than an insurance negotiating agent negotiating with somebody in a clinic here about what the price will be. In other words, we allow consumers to really decide. But you have to have a transparent market. It won't work unless you force physicians and physician groups, hospitals and hospital groups, accessory Medicare medical providers and their group to post quality and to post price. And there's no reason the price ought to be different to anybody. So no matter what I make and what someone else would make, we'd be paying the exact same price? Yeah, you ought to be. You're getting the same service. You're offering the same amount of money. Would there be, under this proposal, would there be people in our country that would not have insurance? Well, only because they chose not to, to try to buy it. And we have in this bill the option for the state. If you have, if you have an irresponsible 27-year-old <clears throat> who says, I'm, I'm riding my Harley, I don't care what happens, I'm not buying it. The state has the right to capture that and buy a high deductible policy to protect the state employees, the rest of us, from his malfeasance and irresponsibility. So they can capture this high deductible. If somebody proves irresponsible that they're not going to buy insurance for them, they can do it. And that'll have a comprehensive exam in it once a year and a high deductible policy. What will happen? Here's what will happen is if we truly have a real market, deductibles will go up, we'll incentivize medical savings, and people will make better choices, and we'll have better competition, better quality, far better quality, and lower prices. This is such a dramatic overhaul that it flies in the face of some very vested interests. How does something like this get through Congress? American people have to want it to change. It's not going to go through Congress because the, basically the members of Congress won't have the courage to challenge the vested interests. Uh, we need, it, this will be the debate of the presidential campaign. It won't be <clears throat> the war on terror. It'll be health care. And within two or three years, we're gonna, look, the Americans need to know we're going one of two ways. We're either going to fix this system 
and use a market-based system to fix it, or we're going to have the government run it. And P.J. O'Rourke, a, a, a columnist, uh, you've heard me say this, but he's right. If you think health care is expensive now, wait till it's free. And wait till the government truly gets a hold of all of it. The government has been devastating to its portion of innovation. Uh, it's been devastating to access in a lot of ways because you have a bureaucracy that makes us spend one third of our labor efforts climbing through the bureaucracy rather than treating patients. What would happen if our clinic, a third of the patients were there, a third of our employees instead of meeting mandates and paperwork, were actually helping people? Same, the cost wouldn't change. What else would we get? We get far better health care. We get far better service. We get far better quality. But we don't do that because we've got a government run system that mandates what we will and won't do.